All right, so I definitely gave no fucks when coming up here. Because it's obvious, oh, this dude's gonna be at the very top, so I just ignored every, like, there were a bunch of branching out shit, you can see one down there right above the confirm. I gave no fucks. I just wanted to get through this shit, so I dodged hella battles. Probably missed out on hella items, but that doesn't really matter, since, like, I'm not gonna be using this save file to do a new game plus, so I'm just gonna, after this is over, I'm immediately going to go do the true end. Yeah, you only lied to us for like 80 straight years. Very sincere. You're taller though. See, there needs, there needs to be an interrupt button in any, anim, in any game where an enemy goes on a 15 fucking minute monologue, tirade, bullshit like this. But you just interrupt them and go straight to the goddamn fight because this is st I don't care. I don't care that this dude's gonna stand there and call us dumb mortals. I don't care that he's gonna say we made a terrible decision. I don't care if he's gonna say our end is nigh. I don't give a fuck. I just want to kill him. But you can't do it because JRPGs suck. Like there's just so many frustrating elements that they have to use in every single fucking game that just it gets on your nerves so much. I think honestly that that's one of the reasons why I did enjoy Record of Augur's War 1 so much and I was able to go through it multiple times and able to do every ending, get the true ending, go through and get all the different marriage scenes. I was new to JRPGs. I wasn't used to like all these story elements, all these story events that they use in every single game. I wasn't familiar with them yet. I wasn't looking at them like, fuck, I've seen this 27 times already. I don't give a shit. It was new to me. So I think that spoiled me. Like honestly, Record of Augur's War 1 doesn't deserve the nostalgia that I have for it. But it just has that because it was one of my very first like true Japanese role-playing game stories. Whereas now, you know, that I, when I played Zero, I played multiple other games. So all those story elements, I didn't give a fuck anymore. They were stupid to me. Now that I played even more, and this is even worse to me. So it's like, I think honestly that's a huge aspect of why I don't like, I haven't liked Zero or this game anywhere near as much as I enjoy One. Is just the fact that they are, like, pure and simple, just very cliched. But I didn't know that the first time I played the game. Because I had not gone through them all already. But now that I have, it's just like... I've seen it all before. You have to give me a reason to care. I've seen all these characters before. I've seen all these events before. I've seen all of these situations before. You've not given me any reason to care about these people. I mean, especially when you go through and you basically recreate half the cast. Like, the heroes are all copies of heroes from previous games. Ava, Fiona, they're both copies. Exact fucking copies of the people from previous games. You know, you had, I can't even remember her name, Dishina. Obviously, Ava's this game's Dishina. Mimo, same thing. Then you got Fiona. I already forgot. Ellis. I can't even remember the second one's name. That's how little I gave a shit about the second one. I can't even remember the second one's name. I remember Ellis and Borg now, and I don't remember the name of the... Log from the second one, though. Or the High Elf from the second one. But again, copies. I 
I'm not stealing. There it is. I was gonna say, where's all my stealing, y'all? Yo, he even said Gurg when he died. Did you notice that? I noticed it. Oh, I should actually probably write down this is the Moby's boss fight. Alright. Fuck. Yay! So maybe this was not the best of my decisions. Cause that dude is giving no shits about Dark Ray. I just want to hit him with Arc and Seal. Because I am really hoping that this shit will overkill him. It's not going to. Shit, it might. Do I care? No. I want the- yeah, it doesn't matter, why am I giving a shit- why am I potentially giving a shit about the items I'm going to get? When- When I'm not even gonna be, like, doing Truend or anything. That was silly of me. Actually. Let's just make breaking him easy. I'm gonna just do these attacks so you can see what you get when you steal from him. Oops. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that sucks. Alright, we may not be seeing overkill here. I don't give a shit, like, I'm going through with it. For those of you that may be looking at this just to see the true ending or something, and, like, you haven't, you don't know anything about me, you don't know anything about, like, the rest of how I feel about this game. I despise the battle system. I don't like it at all. It's very boring to me. And there are elements to it. I'm not going to get into them. Because honestly, it'd be a waste of time. Because it's not like I'm going to be able to fix anything. It's not like somebody from the fucking Idea Factory is going to call me up and be like, yo, help us out with the next battle system so it can be good to you. But I just... <laughs> cool. But yeah, I just... I don't like the battle system. I will do whatever I possibly can to avoid having to utilize it extensively. I will abuse... Like, I mean, that arc and seal shit. That shit is just unfair. That shit is just cheap. That skill, it's just, it's too fucking good to be in the game. And I'm only using the level one version. I'm not even using the, I, I could have put Fiona in my party and then changed up Jude's and Mervina's skills to like fully power up Void and get the level three version and it would have just like cleared through everybody. I might have been able to honestly kill, overkill Mobius and the Gurg at the same time if I was using level three. Arc and Seal, it's that stupid. But so, yeah, I mean, I just... That's why. That's also why this fight was on easy mode. I want it to be as painless and lack the annoyingness as much as possible. And now that this is like the actual end, I'll let it rock. Yeah, I just... I just don't find there to be any redeeming qualities about this game's <laughs> battle system. I mean, it was already repetitive enough in the first games, but at least it was kind of different. But now it's just like... I don't know, it's still different to a degree. Like, there's I haven't played anything like it, but... To me, it just seems like a watered-down version. 
like the strategy was too hard for people and so they watered it down so you didn't need the strategy and now you're just left with the attack like hitting buttons Oh no, there's a new DLC from Mass Effect 3. Shit. That sucks. I know I'm gonna buy it. Mass Effect 3 is the best game I ever played if you didn't fucking involve the last 10 minutes of it. <laughs> Just forget the last 10 minutes existed and Mass Effect 3 is a godlike game. I didn't know they had DLC playing for it though, I paid no attention to it. Yes, destruction! I love it! I thought everything was supposed to go back to how it was. So shouldn't there be like another Big Bang? What truth? What truth? The world's supposed to end? I don't even know what truth they're fucking talking about. Alright. Whatever he says. Oh, so they're sealing them away? Sounds like they're gonna seal them away. Oh. Or he's gonna bang a lot of people and make kids to restore the Sarah clan. Who knows? is so high. Jesus. Probably better than the rest of the Guardians. Just saying. Oh, 
出会えること楽しみにしておりますよさあ行きましょうそれぞれの世界へ。信じれば真実の世界となる信じる者にとってはだがいいだろう世界が終わるその時まで我と共に生きるがよいそして委ねようではないか約束の時に真実を求める者たちの手に世界が真実を求めるならばそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう And then you have an end that lasts for five minutes. I don't give a fuck. Like, that makes no sense to me. That just, I don't understand it at all. Because that was the same thing with the bad ending. The bad ending was short as hell, too. So, anyway, time for me to go get the true ending. And I guess I didn't need those save files, but whatever. Alright.